One Arkansan feels the heartbreak differently. Kate Trenasaf sat down with the Ukrainian living in North Little Rock who's been watching as her home is attacked from a continent away. She's lying, joining us in the studio with more on her story. Kate well, Bob, obviously very emotional for this woman. Marina Amdream is still trying to wrap her head around the chaos. Her fear, though, comes from concerns about her family. Her mother still in Ukraine as a war unfolds. It's another devastating update. The moment Marina Amdream found out the toll of an invasion. 57 civilians died. And She's talking with her mother, having to communicate over Skype. As she faces the war head on, still in Ukraine. It's like a movie. It's like it's not real. Amdream has been watching as her home country becomes a battleground, not fully understanding what happened. We didn't do anything to anybody. We just live in our lives, go, go to work, go home, you know, be with our families, and then you invade us. She gets updates from those still there, like her mom, who describes her once peaceful city. They uh, heard a, a, a siren in her town, and uh, her town got declared uh, a state of emergency. As under attack. When we sat down with her, she only had 17 hours to process the devastation. They started bombing hospitals. Um, they kidnapping our soldiers already. We just hope that the whole world is going to stand up to this man before it gets any worse. And even through the tears, I'm sorry. she's using her voice to share the story of her people fighting for their freedom with the support of millions. She's saying your support, American support and Arkansas support gives us strength to fight. Now she did tell me that she does support the sanctions President Biden imposed and thanks the U.S. government for their support. Her mother says that she is safe right now and plans on staying at her home as long as she possibly can. Reporting in studio, Katrin Asaf, back to you.